Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, our today's topic is fractions and we are going to study about how we can convert an improper fraction into a mixed fraction and mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So I think we need to recall that what is an improper fraction. So whenever the numerator is greater than the denominator then that fraction is known as an improper fraction. The question is convert 13 upon 7. As you can see this 13 upon 7 is what? It's an improper fraction. So convert this 13 upon 7 into a mixed fraction. How we can convert this? We have to follow two steps for this. The very first step is to divide and find the remainder. So what we have to do? We have to divide this fraction and we need to find out the remainder. So what is going to be the dividend? It's 13. The numerator is going to be the dividend and divisor is going to be the denominator. So we are going to write in the same way 13, 7 and some 1 multiply by 1 it's 7. What is going to be the remainder? 6 is going to be the remainder. Okay. Then what is the next step? Next step is to write in the form Q R upon D. What's this Q? It's quotient. What's the quotient in this? It's 1 remainder is r r remainder it's 6 and divisor is d that is 7 divisor is 7 so what we have to do we have to write in the same form q 1 r is 6 d is 7 so this is how we can convert an improper fraction into a mixed fraction now we need to convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Why this is a mixed fraction? Because it's a whole part followed by a proper fraction. So one whole three upon five we have to convert this into an improper fraction. So what we have to do? We have to multiply the divisor with the quotient and add three into this. We can do it the, we can do this directly like this and if you want to uh, learn this way, you can do in, the, in, in this way as well. Okay, so 5 plus multiply by 1, it's 5. 5 plus 3, it's 8. 8 upon 5, simple. And here, what we need to do, we need to substitute the values. Instead of uh, divisor, we have to write 5. Instead of writing Q, we have to write its value. It's 1. R is for remainder and remainder here is 3 because it's in the quotient okay so uh, what we need to do 5 multiply by 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8 8 upon 5 so this is how we can convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction hopefully these two things are clear to you how we can convert um, you know improper fraction into a mixed fraction and a mixed fraction into an improper fraction the next thing which we are going to discuss is how to make an equivalent fractions. Now what are equivalent fractions? You know, fractions which represent same portion of whole are called equivalent fractions. Okay, so um, if you want to know about equivalent fractions more, you can see the other video in which I have already explained um, what is equivalent fraction uh, with the help of examples. Okay, so we can make equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing numerator and denominator by same number. Now you have to focus on this same. What does it mean? It's, it means that we have to multiply and divide the numerator and denominator with the same number. Either you are going to multiply or you are going to divide. You have to do with the same numbers. For example, if we are going to have a, have a fraction 1 upon 2, how we can convert um, or sorry, how we can find out its equivalent fractions. It's like 1 upon 2, we are going to multiply the numerator with 2 and we are going to multiply the denominator with 2. That means we are multiplying in, uh, the numerator and denominator with the same number. So 2 into, two, 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 into 2 is 4. So what are the equivalent fractions? It's 1 upon 2 and 2 upon 4. Then the next one is 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 upon 3. So we are multiplying numerator with 3 and denominator with 3 with the same number. So it's 3 upon 6. 
In the same way, if we are going to divide the numerator and denominator with the same number, we are going to get the equivalent fraction for this. 9 divided by 3, you are going to get 3. 21 divided by 3, you are going to get 7. So, 9 upon 21 and 3 upon 7, they both are what they are, equivalent fractions because they both share the same portion of the whole. I hope these uh, two topics are clear to you, how we can convert in proper fraction and mixed fractions and how to make equivalent fractions. Next time, inshallah, we'll uh, study about more, um, uh, more fractions and um, till then, Allah Hafiz.